the Chinese government wants consumer spending to be a bigger part of that country's economic activity. And one of China's largest online retailers, JD.com, wants to be at the center of it all. The company has created a spending holiday called 618. That would be short for today's date, June 18th. Yunus Yun is in Beijing for us tonight. Just like Amazon and Walmart are in a food fight in the U.S., JD and Alibaba are in a food fight in China. JD is building high-tech supermarkets like this, where customers can scan fresh produce on their phones and trace where it all comes from. Fresh food is just one area JD sees as a consumer trend for 618. 618 is a mid-year festival. JD created it to get people shopping mainly online. It spans over 18 days. The event is seen as a gauge of Chinese consumption. Consumer spending is a big topic here. The government has tried for years to get the consumer to become a bigger part of China's growth to rebalance the economy away from exports and investment. The authorities have made some progress, but these days the consumption data isn't encouraging. Sales of vehicles and smartphones are down. Retail sales for May were a bright spot, but followed April's figure, which hit a 16-year low. This, despite the government's stimulus measures. JD believes Chinese demand for international products is only growing, so companies need not be so concerned. This is what one executive told me. The brand from the international market, and they will tell you China is still their biggest market. And they continue to understand the Chinese consumer and continue to provide the best products to the Chinese consumer. So I think they should be not worried. Officially, unemployment here is stable, but with the slowdown, the weak stock market and the trade war, there's a lot of uncertainty, and Chinese tend to save. Even so, despite the trade war, JD says for this year's festival, the U.S. is one of the top-selling countries. And some of the most popular American brands are Hasbro, Apple, P&G, and Bud. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Eunice Yoon in Beijing.